air leaks can occur spontaneously or as a complication of the underlying condition any of these discussed earlier and uh, pneumothorax pneumomediastinum pneumopericardium uh, pneumoperitoneum pulmonary interstitial emphysema and subcutaneous emphysema are the different types of air leaks you may get so this x-ray illustrates pulmonary interstitial emphysema this is uh, not seen that commonly these days because of the regular use of uh, antenatal steroids and uh, early appropriate ventilation without overdoing the pressures so uh, this baby has a chest drain so probably had a PE associated air leak as well and this is a typical pneumothorax and if the mediastinum is shifted as it is in this case it's a tension pneumothorax where the baby would have presented with shock like presentation and uh, you would have needed an emergency needle drainage before you put in the chest drain so the x-ray is needed to confirm but you don't need to wait for the x-ray to treat because it's a life-threatening emergency and the cold illumination cold light illumination of the chest may confirm the diagnosis Nematocele is a complication of uh, some forms of uh, infection like staphylococcal uh, pneumonia. It can also happen uh, related to pulmonary interstitial emphysema where one area of the lung starts expanding more. A close differential diagnosis will be pulmonary lobar emphysema. Uh, 